He is one of the most encouraging like coaches I've ever had. I love like encouraging coaches and he's always willing to help. Every time like if he can't come to a duel or a tournament, he'll always come back and like right away he's like, How'd you do this weekend? Like was it a good weekend? We just had one and I came back and he was asking me about it. He asked me about my matches and it just feels like he cares. He's a great coach and it's great a uh, great opportunity for us because he's just a bottomless pit of wisdom. Seems like he's been doing it for forever. Like you can always go to him and he knows a little trick about something. Yeah, I like being around kids. You can learn a lot from the kids. And uh, I enjoy being around them. Doesn't make me any younger, but it makes me feel a little younger. <laughs> kids right now are so much better than they were back then. But I mean, we you got to remember that was 1964, the early 60s when I was wrestling. It's so much more technical now and the kids are so much better. I qualified four times for the Nationals College. Back then, they only gave six places, and now they give eight. I would have placed eight. You know, Coach Robinson's been a head coach in Kansas City for a long time, uh, I think 30, 40 years up in that area. Uh, very involved in wrestling. Moved down here to retire, had no intentions of, of being involved in wrestling. And, and he called me and wanted me to go meet him for lunch and introduce himself and, and said he just kind of wanted to meet the local high school coach and, and wanted to follow the program, wanted to know if it'd be okay if he'd come sit and watch a few practices. And, you know, age doesn't define anything, but uh, it's more impressive someone at his age that is still able to get out on the mat, has the energy to want to do it, um, has the mindset to be able to still work with high school age kids and boys and girls. And that's what makes programs, you know, Go from being good to great is being able to have extra people come in and volunteer in their time, you know, giving me ideas, challenging me, asking me why we're doing something the way it is. So I look at them as like a coach for coaches, you know. The one thing that I feel like is the most important is establishing positive relationship with these kids and then, you know, seeing them develop, grow up. Coaching Zan is a once in a lifetime opportunity. That kid is really good. And, uh, I've had some good kids before, but Zan is an exception. I mean, he is a real opportunity. Hard worker, been dedicated to it. Takes a lot. Wrestling is a tough sport. He is definitely like, he knows how to make it fun. Like, he'll be like teaching stuff, but it's not like, he's not like just harping on you. Like, he knows how to enlighten the mood. I just want to see him be successful. Get through high school and be successful. Be a productive member of society.